It's like, I don't know if that dude's all right. How did, how did you, do, these are questions for me, so I'm just gonna fan out a little bit. How did you, because I mean, I know you, you've got a long history of, of doing voice work, um, but how did you, how did you fall into the role of, of Master Chief and Halen? Well, like uh, most good things that come to be, a lot of luck. Um, uh, I, I do a lot of commercial voice work up until Halo, and uh, I had actually done work on a game uh, that I recommend none of you make any attempt to buy, purchase, see, play, or in any way exposed to. What is this one? It's, it's called uh, uh, Septera Core. Oh, PC. Oh, yeah, it was a hot one. <laughs> <laughs> it was a small one. And I had a small role in that, um, um, a guy by the name of Gunner. And the person who cast me was Marty O'Donnell, who uh, ended up, of course, going with Bungie, and he's the one who writes and performs most of the music uh, in the Halo series. So he, uh, about a year later, decided uh, you know, called me and asked me about uh, you know, voicing the, the, the character Master Chief. Uh, so that was really Halo Combat Evolved was the first or the second video game I'd ever done. And uh, coming into it at the time, uh, we had no, I had no picture of what Master Chief looked like. I, the game obviously had not been released yet, so it was strictly going on, you know, here's the character, here's what he does, here's what the game is. Uh, uh, the only real direction he gave me was uh, to think uh, Clint Eastwood, yeah. fistful of dollars, you know, man a few words, that kind of thing. And we took it from there. Uh, we did a couple of sessions, uh, uh, and as you know, when you do video games, um, when you do commercial voiceover, the way you know that whatever it is that you voiced was a success is directly correlated with what checks you may receive in the mailbox <laughs> later on. Uh, that's not the case with video games, it's sort of a one-shot deal, and uh, so I, I re recorded the sessions. And that was pretty much the end of it, and I forgot about it. And it was about a year later, I was down, actually down here in Florida, visiting some friends, and uh, I come walking through the uh, living room one day, and the kids are playing Halo. And I said, and understand now, I, I also do a radio show in Chicago, and uh, so my friend is introducing me to his kids. Says, yeah, Steve does a big radio show in Chicago. They were totally unimpressed, who care about it. Well, he voices commercials that run all over the world. Totally unimpressed. I walk through, I see the Halo game playing, and I said, you know, I think I voiced a, a character on that game. And I huh? What? <laughs> and, uh, and honestly, I couldn't remember the name of the character. I said, but I think he's one of the main guys. Uh, really? Yeah, and so I can't, Master Chief? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, about 15 minutes later, we had a line around the block of this guy's house. Of, of, you know, fans from the neighborhood would come by to, uh, to, to meet me and get autographs. So at that point, I knew, well, maybe we have something. Maybe, maybe there's something going on here I ought to investigate. And from that point on, of course, the rest is, uh, as they say, history. But uh, that was the uh, uh, rather unimpressive beginning for me, but it's been, uh, it's been quite a ride ever since. And where did you record it? Did you do it in Chicago? In Chicago. Bungie uh, originally was based in Chicago. Uh, when Microsoft got an idea of what was going on, they quickly bought the company and moved it all out to their headquarters in Washington. Uh, but a lot of the voice casting, especially for the first game, is a lot of Chicago voice actors. Uh, it's expanded beyond that, you know, in Halo 2 and 3. But, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, we did all the sessions in Chicago. And I've, I've done all three games in Chicago, actually. And what do you think, I mean, obviously the game has progressed so much from, from where it started, and this happens a lot, where it's going to be a big AAA title, but nobody can expect right. the game to do as well as it did. What do you think as far as how the game is, because ODST just came out, right? um, I know. Well, I mean, it's not, just, it's not just a video game, it's actually, it's a cult phenomenon. Yes. It has so many spin-offs with Red vs. Blue, and, and um, it's one of the most cosplay, as far as video game characters, one of the most cosplay characters ever. What, what do you think of the storyline, your character, and how the game has, has changed since, since the first one? Well, I think the, uh, the storyline, obviously, I mean, they had a good story with the beginning uh, of the game, and, and personally, I like to think that, that it's not just the shooter aspect uh, that made Halo popular. I think it's, it, it's a lot of things, it's all of the things, but, but one of the things I think is that they had a, a, a fairly developed storyline. 
And that made it interesting for me. It makes it interesting for the actor when there's actually a story going on and you're not just going, uh, uh, ah, gotcha. <laughs> when it goes a little bit beyond that. And that's, I mean, I became.